Well, we're joined now live by Syrian Foreign Minister Faisal Megdad. Uh, Foreign Minister, welcome to RT. Thanks for taking the time to talk to us this afternoon. What do you make of the Western and US policy regarding the cross-border aid issue? Thank you very much. I think, they, I think this is a pure hypocrisy. Uh, this is another attempt to help uh, terrorist groups and to provide them with uh, all necessary materials to prolong the terrorist war against Syria. In fact, uh, a decision was adopted in, 90, uh, in 2016, uh, making four uh, entry points into Syria, one from Jordan, uh, one from Iraq, one f two from Turkey. The last uh, before uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the closure of, uh, I mean, the recent one, Bab al Hawa, was Bab al Salam. We believe that the, the, uh, these cross-border activities uh, are direct violation of the sovereignty of our country, an attempt to uh, send with the so-called humanitarian uh, assistance uh, arms and all supplies uh, to the uh, terrorist groups. And you know, in Idlib, there is Jabhat al-Nusra, a uh, designated organization on the list of terrorist groups uh, by the United Nations Security Council. Uh, we are opposed to such a thing, and we have told all these countries, directly or indirectly, that uh, Syria will allow a humanitarian assistance to go to the people who need a humanitarian assistance, but not to the people who are uh, described as terrorists. Secondly, <clears throat> if the Western countries are really uh, careful about Syrian citizens, uh, they should lift their sanctions because these sanctions and what we call uh, unilateral coercive measures adopted by Western countries and by the United States are killing the Syrian people. They are not allowing us even to import uh, medical instruments, not to mention foods and other necessary materials for uh, the protection of the, lives, uh, of the lives of innocent Syrians. So is there no part of the US claim that it is helping civilians, that's what it says it's doing, and that it's trying to uh, combat terrorist organizations in that stricken part of the world? Is there no part of that that the Syrian government accepts? The only solution is to uh, withdraw Turkish troops from Idlib and to combat uh, al-Nusra uh, uh, terrorist groups and to allow uh, the Syrian authorities to control Idlib and to provide the people there with the provisions they deserve, with food, with other materials, to make their life uh, more uh, humane. So uh, I think what the United States is campaigning for the last uh, five months at least to allow this cross-border point to remain open is to violate the sovereignty of Syria, to prolong the war, the terrorist war against Syria, and to stop any movement towards achieving the unity and territorial integrity of the Syrian uh, uh, country. Foreign Minister, you mentioned the Western sanctions a moment ago. Could you expand on the effect that those sanctions are having on Syria's civilian population, especially more than a year into a pandemic? Frankly, uh, frankly speaking, this is disastrous. Uh, they have uh, taken uh, uh, all rights of the Syrian people to, uh, uh, I mean, just satisfy the needs of those who are, uh, they are supporting terrorist groups in Syria, they are agents in the country, and the mere presence of these, uh, of forces from these countries, the United States in the Northeast and other countries in the Northwest, the United States in al Rukban, is uh, a very clear manifestation that the United States is not allowing anything to come to Syria. So uh, this is devastating. In fact, many of the poor people uh, are suffering because of these uh, sanctions, which are taking all the Syrian people hostages. 
uh, more than 95% of Syrians are affected by these sanctions, and uh, particularly children and women who are not being able to either receive humanitarian assistance from their own government or to receive, uh, I mean, what their government can buy them from international markets because the sanctions of the United States are, and Western countries are not allowing any country in the world to give even medical supplies to the Syrian people. Mm. Uh, the United States and also its European allies have called into question the recent election in Syria that saw President Assad re-elected. I'm presuming that their scepticism wasn't a surprise to you, but what's your response to it? Um, this was a big lie. Uh, I am sure our elections were uh, so far better than their elections. Uh, if you review uh, how these elections were conducted, you will see millions of Syrians going to the uh, voting uh, polls and boxes uh, inside and outside Syria. Uh, we uh, reconfirm that it is the right of the Syrian people to elect their own representatives, to elect their own president. We are not waiting for the United States to give legitimacy to our leadership because the Syrian people has already given legitimacy to its uh, uh, elected president. Uh, these elections, as you have seen, uh, uh, as the world has indeed seen, uh, were better than those elections in the United States when people attacked the Congress and when President Trump, the former president of the United States, did not even recognize the result of these elections. The entire world has seen the Syrian people going to the boxes and casting with 100% freedom their votes for their leadership. I mentioned the Kazakhstan peace talks resuming next month. Um, is the Astana format proving to be an effective mechanism? It is the most effective mechanism. Uh, it is uh, attended by government and uh, uh, the opposition. It is attended by uh, countries who support the government, by uh, a country that supports the other side. Uh, in fact, most recent developments, positive results, uh, positive developments in Syria have proven that the Astana format is the best format for finding a political settlement to the uh, uh, Syrian crisis. Uh, in addition to the reality that we are taking part in the UN-sponsored talks uh, on the Syrian uh, constitution. Mm. Meantime, though, of course, there are still US troops in Syria, especially in the north of the country. How does Damascus view their presence on Syrian soil? Uh, we believe that uh, they have to stop their infringement on the sovereignty of Iraq because they are coming from the north of Iraq. Uh, they have to stop their infringement on the territorial integrity of Syria because they are illegally entering into Syria. Secondly, they have to uh, stop uh, stealing uh, Syrian oil and the Syrian wheat and other uh, Syrian property. And we believe they have to stop support of the terrorist groups because without American support for Daesh, Daesh would have been uh, eliminated long time ago. Mm -hmm. uh, I am not giving uh, any information, but everybody in the northeast of Syria knows that the United States has moved recently hundreds, if not thousands, of Daesh elements into Afghanistan and into other parts of Syria, preparing them for more attacks, for more terrorist attacks against Syria and other countries in the region. And what about closer to home, your neighbor? How would you assess Turkey's role in Syria's conflict? It has been uh, destructive. Uh, Turkey has uh, supported all terrorist groups. This has become a reality. They have uh, condoned their activities. They have armed them. They have even provided them with chemical weapons to attack Syria and claim 
the Syrian army has used chemical weapons against its own people, which is a big lie, and uh, sponsoring the white helmets and so on uh, by Turkey, by the United States, and by Germany and the uh, United Kingdom. So uh, uh, the Turkish role has been uh, very destructive, as I said, and the support given, uh, recent support given to certain elements in the north uh, west of Syria along the border uh, has shown that Turkey is trying to uh, give its own identity to Syrians. They are changing the reality, the border. Uh, they are building even a university for Syrians. They are changing the language, the Arabic language used by Syrians in, as a medium of uh, teaching. Uh, so we cannot say this government of Erdogan in Turkey uh, is helping the Turkish people. It is endangering and it is uh, uh, putting a lot of load on the Turkish people to protect terrorists that may at a later stage attack uh, the Turkish people. Mm. But uh, we are absolutely against Turkish policies that are threatening the uh, territorial unity and integrity of uh, Syria. It certainly puts a lot of pressure on next month's talks, doesn't it? But uh, let's hope that uh, cool heads prevail in Kazakhstan. Really appreciate your time on RT this afternoon. Syrian Foreign Minister Faisal Magdad, good to talk to you.